All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Aaron from Website All Stars. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to create circles with CSS. I'm going to use Dreamweaver CS6. Let me go and get that showing. And I've already created a folder that I'm going to use to house my my files. In it is a images folder which I'm uh, have a background image that I'm going to utilize in a little bit. But I want to walk through the process of creating a simple circle with CSS, and then I'm going to add a background and things like to that to it to show you guys some different um, end results. So to start off, I'm going to create two files. I'm going to create an index file or an HTML file. So I'll go to blank page, go to HTML. I'm going to use HTML5 as the doc type. And then I'm also going to create a new CSS file. So again, file new, go to blank page, go to CSS, and then you can hit create. Now, I'm going to use the CSS file as an external file, so I'm going to link these two together. And the easiest way of doing that, well, there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, once these are saved, and I'll, I'll walk you guys through that as well. So let's start off with the HTML file. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as index.html. And then my CSS file, I'll go to File, Save As, and I'll save this just as style.css. Now there's a number of ways of doing this, of linking these. A very simple way would be to just drag the CSS file over and drop it and then just kind of place it where you want it. That's definitely one way of going about it. Another way would be to use the CSS Styles tab. At the bottom of the CSS Styles tab is a little chain link for an attached style sheet. If you click on that you can browse to your CSS file and add it that way. Either way is fine. I um, mean, it kind of comes down to preference. So I'm going to save this, and then I can close this CSS file that I have open because by linking them, it creates them or sets them up to be uh, to sets the CSS file up to be a dependent file, meaning that um, I can access it from here in Dreamweaver. It just puts it right next to it, so I can link back and forth. <laughs> so to create a uh, circle in CSS, we're going to actually use the same technique that we would use for rounded corners. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to start by just making a box. So I'm going to create a div tag. I'll give it a class and I'll name it box. In it, I'm just going to put the number one. It's easy to see. Um, we don't need any text or anything in it at this point. So for now the HTML is done, I'm going to go ahead and jump over the CSS and go ahead and add a selector specific for that, that class. So I'm going to do dot box to reference that class name that we just created. And since we're going to create a box or a square, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, properties like width. And I'll set it up so we can see it easily. I'll make it 300 pixels. Height, I'll set it to be 300 pixels as well just so we can see it. I'll add in a background color. And for now, I'll do something like a red or a blue. I'm going to make the font size really big. And I'm going to use pixel sizes. It's just a little bit easier in this instance. If you prefer uh, M's, that's fine too. That is totally up to you. Um, since we're creating a big box and I want that number one to really stand out, I'm going to make the font size, I'll do like 150 pixels, so it's large. So let's go to the split view so we can kind of see where we are right now. So we have this huge box, we have a big number one in it. I want the number one to be centered, so I'm going to put it right in the center using text hyphen align. And that'll center it horizontally, and then what I do to center it vertically in an instance like this, I'll use um, line height and set it to the same size as the box, so 300 pixels tall. And what that does is it creates the line of text to be 300 pixels, which since it's the same size as the box, it'll center it. I'll also add the color and just make it white. All right, so to actually get this to be a rounded circle, we would use the same technique that we would use for a round, just for rounded corners. So border hyphen radius. Um, if I were to do like 20 pixels and go to live view, I'm 
Oops, let's try that again. Live view. It'll actually show the rounded corners. But what if we want to make it a circle? Since we're going to use the exact same technique, there's two ways that we can do this. Basically, if you think of the way rounded corners work, it uses the 20 pixel radius to go around. If I set the radius to actually be half of the width of the box, it's going to make from the 50% mark all the way around, it's going to make one big rounded corner. Ultimately, that'll make a circle. So if I change this to 150 pixels and refresh, it's going to make a circle. And this technique works great. Um, rather than using 150 pixels, I've also found that if you use a percent, that it works very well too. So 50%. Now, the percentage doesn't render the same in Dreamweaver at least not here. If I were to open this up in a browser, let's say uh, Firefox or Chrome, <laughs> it'll, it'll work just fine. So in Dreamweaver, in its design view, it doesn't necessarily render the same, but it will render in a browser. Now there are vendor specific properties that we can add to this. So we can do .moz for Mozilla Firefox, border hyphen radius, 50% um, dash web kit and then border hyphen radius. And if I save that, and again, if I, if I go back to the browser and refresh, we're not going to see any difference here. So what are some other practical uses for this? On the actual website, on our website, you'll see circles all over the place. And this is just the same technique that we use. Now, one of the things that we could do is add to this a background. So let's go up to where we have background color. And for now, I'm just going to comment it out. And I'll replace it with the background property. And I could still use a fail safe as a, uh, with a color. That way, if the image doesn't load, the background color will load. And that, that would probably be OK. Uh, for now, I'll just do the same color that we used before. And then from here, we want to do the URL. Now, Dreamweaver gives us options that we can choose from. And if you want to go that route, you definitely can. It's, in some cases, quicker. I always recommend actually hand coding it, though, um, at least till you get the hang of it. So I have an images folder with a, uh, an image that I, uh, <laughs> excuse me, an image that I created called BG underscore flower. I'm setting up as a background. It's a 300 by 300 image. And if I hit open, it'll add it. The proper syntax is to do URL and then in parentheses, the file path from your CSS file to that image. And then background has multiple values. We've obviously already added the background color, the background URL. Um, the position is often used. So you might want to do like top and left. Typically, it's the x axis, then the y axis. So I guess it would be left and then top. And then there's also the repeat, background hyphen repeat. And what I'm going to set it up to is no hyphen repeat. So if I refresh again, now the, the one here is not nearly as visible, so I might need to do some stuff to see that. But if I save this and then jump back into Firefox and reload, what we're going to see is that background image is actually cropped, which is kind of cool if you think about it, that it's going to give you that cropped feel uh, or that cropped look of a circle. So rather than having to create it in Photoshop or something similar, we have the ability of doing the same thing right within the code. So a couple things I might do to make this look a little bit different is perhaps add like text shadow. And I'll talk about text shadow in another video if you're not familiar with it. Um, and then maybe do border five pixels solid, make it white, and then add a box shadow. And this is another one that I'll talk about hopefully in another video. So what I've done is I've added a text shadow so the number one has a bit of a shadow around it. I've added a border so on our circle we're going to have a white border around it and then a little bit of a drop shadow on that as well. And what we should get is something like this. And I don't know if that 
that white circle is really needed, but it breaks it up just a little bit from the actual um, background. Anyway, just a quick video to show you guys how to do rounded corners and some different variations that you could do or some different um, uses for it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please visit our website, www.websiteallstars.com or subscribe to this video uh, or this channel. Thank you so much.